Hi, and welcome to my tutorials on Euclid's Elements, Book 5. This presentation is going to be on Proposition 25 of Book 5. Now, in this proposition, we have four line segments, A, B, E, C, D, and F. And A, B is the largest of the line segments, and F is the smallest of the line segments. If we have that AB, the ratio of AB to CD is equal to the ratio of E to F, then this proposition states that the sum of the largest and the smallest, AB and F, would be larger than the sum of E and CD. So let's begin. First off, here we are just restating the initial conditions, and this is just stating this is just stating that AB is the largest line segment, and this is stating that F is the smallest line segment. The first thing that we're going to do is since AB is greater than E, we're going to construct a line segment AG such that it equals E. Similarly, since F is smaller than CD, we are going to construct a line segment CH that is equal to F. Now since AG is equal to E, and CH is equal to F, and we have the ratio of AB to CD is equal to the ratio of E to F, if we just substitute AG and CH for E and F, we have this ratio. AB to CD is equal to the ratio of AG to CH. Now according to Proposition 19, if we have the ratio AB to CD is equal to the ratio of a line segment, AG to the line segment CH, then the ratio of the remainders will also be equal. So in other words, if AB to CD is equal to AG to CH, then they are, that ratio is also equal to the ratio of GB to HD. So here we have our new relationship between two ratios. Now since AB is greater than CD, the line segment GB will be larger than HD, according to the definition of relationships for ratios. Definition number five, describing what a ratio is. Changing tact a little bit for a moment. E plus F is equal to E plus F. I think everybody can agree to that. However, E is equal to HG. So let's substitute E plus F for AG plus F. E plus F, well, F is equal to CH. So let's replace C E plus F with CH plus E. So this equation right here is basically saying that E plus F equals E plus F. I think everybody can agree that that's true. So let's take GB is greater than HD, and add the equality AG plus F to this side of the greater sign, and CH plus E to that side of the greater sign, maintaining the relationship of greater than. So GB plus AG plus F is greater than HD plus CH plus E. Just reordering how we're grouping together the line segments. I have GB plus AG plus F is greater than HD plus CH plus E. But what is GB plus AG? GB plus AG is just equal to AB and HD plus CH is just equal to CD. So if we rewrite this equation again, we have that AB plus F is greater than CD plus E. So there we have shown with these initial conditions, AB being the largest, F being the smallest, and we have AB to CD is equal to E to F, then the sum of the two extremes, the smallest and the largest, will be greater than the sum of the other two line segments.